on day four of the Olympics, one name is on everyone's lips. Yi Shi Wen. Three days since the Chinese swimmer shattered the woman's 400-meter individual medley world record by over a second, doping accusations hound the 16-year-old. On the last 100 meters of the race, Yi swam faster than the gold medalist of the men's 400-meter individual medley, Ryan Lochte. Top U.S. coach John Leonard is the first trainer to question her performance, calling her achievement impossible. He says in the past, swimmers with similar suspicious incidents were later found guilty of taking illegal substances. British media also doubt Yi is clean. Tabloid Daily Telegraph says Chinese swimming has such a shameful history, any remarkable achievement by one of its athletes is met with cynicism. They refer to China's history of state-sponsored doping in the 80s and 90s. Yi denies the allegations. She says there is no problem with doping. The Chinese team has a firm policy against it. But aside from the doping issues, Twitter continues to be the stage for more Olympic controversies. The Switzerland Olympic Commission sends footballer Mikel Morganella home due to a racist Twitter post. After his team loses to South Korea, he goes online and tweets in colloquial French that he wants to beat up South Koreans, whom he calls mentally handicapped retards. Morganella apologizes, saying the post is a huge mistake. But it is too late. He is the second athlete to leave the Olympics prematurely because of an offensive tweet. The scrutiny extends to media and fans. Twitter suspends journalist Guy Adams' account after he complains about NBC's delayed broadcast of the games in the U.S. He posts the email address of an NBC executive to encourage netizens to send their complaints, which NBC says is a breach of privacy. Police also arrest a 17-year-old for sending malicious tweets to British diver Tom Daly. Natasha Gutierrez, Rappler, Manila.